So ask yourself this, who are some of the biggest people complaining about the violence and corruption of violent video games? That would tend to be out of touch soccer moms who don't even know that the ESRB exists or if they do, they don't care because, and I quote, I let my kid play what, I, what he wants, end quote. And the elderly, who can benefit from video games the most? Well, it turns out, the elderly. So in other words, as you'll find out through this article, if you were elderly and you were simply staunchly against video games, then in many ways, you're against yourself and your own happiness. No, and I'm not kidding. Playing video games makes old people happier, new study says. If you're old, you should probably play video games. Really, everybody should play video games, but especially if you're old. Proof? A new study from the North Carolina State University, as reported by Medical Express, that examined 140 people ages 63 and up and found that ones who played video games were generally happier than ones who don't. Now remember, when it comes to case studies, anything over 100 is a, as far as a sample size is a lot more credible in terms of the kind of results that you could more or less hang your hat on instead of results where they're like studying say 60 or 30 people and trying to make overreaching um, claims about their research based off of an improper sample size. I digress. Quote, the research published here suggests that there, uh, there's a link between gaming and better well-being and emotional functioning. Researcher Jason Allaire said, Allaire, sorry, brings out the French in me, Allaire, um, <laughs> sorry. We are currently planning studies to determine whether playing digital games actually improves mental health in older adults. So there you go. Don't ever stop playing games. A link down to the article I read from, as well as the Medical Express, will be down in the underbar. What have we learned? That sometimes when we get older and everything around us seems scarier, that probably lashing out against the things that we simply just don't agree with maybe based on nothing more than social morality, might not be the best example or the best idea of what to do. When we've got people who are easily in the 63 plus range saying that video games is a bigger problem than guns. And some of these people are lawmakers, did I mention that? And then you've got Obama, friggin' Obama trying to spend, needlessly spend, untold millions of dollars to the CDC, who, at least it's been my experience with one researcher, might be more inclined to produce biased results to try to say that, yes, indeed, Mr. President, sir, violent video games do create violent kids out of normal psycho psychological children, which has absolutely no scientific base. Again, if the report, if the study happens and it's non-bias, this could be something that's useful. If the report does come out and it is biased, and they take that on as gospel despite all of the decades worth of research that has had no conclusive scientific link whatsoever between violence uh, violent video games and violent children. Not to mention, crime statistics do not add up when you look at the release of some of the worst offenders as far as violent video games as parenting groups tend to uh, ascribe to, and youth violence, which has gone dramatically down in most places due to these games' existences. In which case, though, in which case, either case of this is this is a lot of money being sent to do something that just absolutely wastes the CDC's time. And for what? So that we ban video games but not, uh, but not say, you know, semi-automatic weapons with extended clips and military-grade hardware being sold to people at 
gun shows without uh, proper identification or even a background check? I'm sorry, but if that happens, then you can you can quote me on that. I called it that we would we would as soon block video games than we would violent guns thinking that or violent guns than we would uh, certain types of guns because we're stupid like that. We're going to ignore the movies that could be equally as violent. We're going to ignore the books. We're going to ignore the music. Especially when those three are so much easier for kids to acquire than violent video games that are above their age range. And then when you factor in the stupidity of some of the groups speaking out who don't even have any idea what the ESRB, what it represents, and then you ask, why the heck did you fight so hard for this type of board to be created when you yourself aren't even going to use it or don't even care if it's there? That to you, all this, all this gobbledygook and descriptors of content, oh, that, that, that's just graphics on the, the, the game there. You, the, it may as well be. It may as well. You could make this the entire box art as well as this the entire back of the box art, and you're still going to get oblivious parents who do believe with all their hearts that violent video games is more dangerous than guns while they're buying them for their children who, again, as they say, they buy, uh, they let their child play whatever their child wants to play. End quote. I may be critical from a business standpoint of this industry, and rightfully so. People aren't generally disagreeing with what I say, though a few people are disagreeing with my videos and thumbsing them down. So be it. But I'm, I'm not going to go after the industry for something they aren't doing. I have always been about indicting subjects based on fact, not myth, not opinion, in 90% of the things that I tend to cover because I like to know things that are real, that are true. I like to understand just how the freaking world around me works instead of how I would like it to work, how my fantasy uh, envisionment of the world would work. I mean, God, you know, <laughs> and the fact that we have people who are still trying to shoehorn in whatever thing they can, no matter how minute, to try to prove their point, especially if you're elderly, you're, you're, you're working against something that seems to be provably improving your lives. But no, we can't care about that. We gotta think of the children because, you know, we do, we've created these industries. Now we're ashamed of it all. We're 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 looking at it with our 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 social morality colored glasses, and we simply don't agree with it. Well, you know something, I have no sympathy for you. If your child is unstable, you buy them a game that, at least in their case, probably isn't going to push them over the edge, but isn't going to help their condition, and they go over to the neighbor and they strangle that neighbor's ch kid to death behind the house, I have no sympathy for you, and if anything, I would like you brought up on charges because you were the person who was supposed to be watching your child and how they are, and you fell asleep at the switch, but instead of it being your rightful fault, it's the fault of the industry. You can take a long walk off a very short pier. 